Hello, welcome back to Botanical Woman. I hope you're having a great day and not letting mealybugs get you down. As a fellow plant lover, you know it's not always easy to take care of our plants. Recently, not only did I get a plant with spider mites in this video, I also got one with mealybugs. The Monstera Slip the Bacana that I purchased was infested with them. At first, I didn't notice them. Slip the Bacanas have pretty deep crevices, which give mealybugs a lot of great places to hide and lay their eggs. It wasn't until a few days later when I went to repot it, I spotted them. As you may know, there are actually quite a few ways to treat mealybugs, and I had my doubts about using some of the more common methods like using cotton swab dipped in alcohol or blasting them off with water. I really wanted a method that would get into its tiny crevices. As it happens, I was talking with my friend Erin, and she tells me she debugs all her plants before adding them to her collection. And the process included a bath using horticultural oil and soap, which sounded perfect for my situation. So in a panic, I searched for a DIY horticultural oil solution that I can make right away. The recipe I found that asked for one cup of oil, any variety, such as vegetable, peanut, corn, soy, and of course I have olive oil. So I grabbed that, then one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid or pure soap. Okay, Castile soap, perfect. I have that. Sweet, I think we're ready to go. I make a bath and I soak it for 15 minutes because that's what this website suggests. 15 minutes later, I pull it out, rinse it off in the sink to inspect it. And it is gorgeous. The leaves are glistening in the light. Then it dawns on me. It's covered in olive oil. I've turned my Monstera into a salad. Hmm, this can't be right. Trying to keep my cool, I message Aaron right away. So you make your own recipe, right? Um, how much oil do you use? Not even daring to ask her what kind of oil she uses. She says she uses very little. Hmm, Christine calculates. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, very little oil does not equal very shiny leaves, Christine. I quickly make another soap bath with no oil this time to try to wash off some of the oil without overstressing the poor plant, and it worked. So it's way less shiny. It's been a few weeks now, and I'm happy to say that the plant is looking healthy, and there's been no returns of mealybugs. I wouldn't recommend you drenching your plants in olive oil though. Sorry, we didn't get any footage of me turning my Monstera into a salad. Uh, hello, excuse me, this is Christine from the future and um, horticultural oil is not as safe as that Christine thinks. We're just gonna continue using Castile soap as our insecticide spray until further research is conducted. So thank you for this PSA, bye. Hey! I hate it when she does that.